that you might have COVID-19 14 days ago, you were reluctant to call 911 because you didn't want your children to see the paramedics. Talk to me about that moment. Um, I had a lot of difficulty breathing. Sorry, um, I had a lot of difficulty breathing and my daughter was sleeping nearby. My six-year-old son was nearby and I couldn't catch my breath because I was drowning in my lungs and I was breathing faster and I checked my home pulse ox and it was down to almost 85 and I knew if I called 911 what EMT would want to do to somebody like me who was working this hard to breathe. So I got down on my knees and I put my forehead to the ground and I prayed to God. I prayed Psalm 91. I prayed to be under his wing and to heal me and to give me time and to let me live because I, 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 I was so scared of them seeing me leaving my house intubated and like one of my patients. And I, I, I just, I, 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 and that's what I did. I prayed and then I prayed for time to, to say goodbye in the form of a video. You made a video to say goodbye to your kids. Tell me about that. I, I was so short of breath. I couldn't breathe and I just wanted to tell my kids that they are the most important thing in the world to me and mommy was a doctor but I never stopped caring about them and you know things like treat the world good it's been great to us and I love you and I want to be there but I can't but be amazing be nice and and then I, I, I just that that's the most important thing, right? When you're, when you can't breathe, the, I thought of my children and how I can say goodbye in the best way. And that was a video that they would get in five years. I suppose the nice thing is that you can give them that positive message about changing the world personally. Now, personally, one month from now or one year from now as you are rec recovering, which is a blessing. And we're all so thankful for that.